Hello guys, Seb back at the shop. We're gonna drill um, that drill bit there. We're gonna drill this uh, through the inside of this plug. We're gonna drill a hole. And we're gonna do two of them. You'll learn about this later when we use this for. And I'm using a little high speed uh, Albright uh, drill. I've got my mill turned up on high speed. I'll put it in a collet. <clears throat> I uh, just kind of centered a fitting up. In here and uh, I just kind of screw it in there with my fingers just finger tight so I'm kind of using that so I've got that centered up with my spindle I'm gonna screw this in there I'll be let me get some lubricant and I'll be right back oh guys I've got a little WD-40 in a uh, paint can lid and that's how much I got out of an empty WD-40 so if you've got empty aerosols um, and you know they're not blowing anymore just uh, uh drain that somehow i'm not going to tell you how to do it you can figure it out on your own for safety purposes i'm not going to advise anyone what to do but that's uh, quite a little bit of lubricant and i paid for it so i'm going to use it and uh you can see i've got my little uh drill it's kind of like a little mini drill press. I'm going to put my little drill bit in here. I'm just gonna just gonna touch up a little bit of lubricant very carefully and uh, you want to force this okay just like that we're through okay and there you go just like that we've got a hole right through the center of that Let's get our next one set up. This don't have to be very tight on just Okay. There we go. I don't know if you can see a chip coming off there or not. It's kind of cool. There we are. See if I can get this for on camera. There you go. You can see a little hole through there. There you go.
There you go. I got me a little blade hole in my plugs. Okay, you can kind of see what kind of chips we have there. Those are little chips that come out of there, and there's some others over there. A uh, little thing I just thought I'd share with you. It's uh, pretty cool. It's very precision. It just floats. It almost feels like hydraulics. It's very precise. Kind of cool thing. Thought I'd share that. Thank you. Okay, and that drill bit, guys, was uh, 38 thousandths. Well, about 38 and a few tenths. Probably, probably close to 39 thousandths. And I'm going to take a larger drill bit, and I'm just going to hit the end of that hole. I'm just going to knock that little secondary burr off. You can see I've got it in my... I could have used a pin vise, but I, since I had this drill out, I'd just do that. You can, you can feel that burr comes off immediately. I got about a 16th inch drill bit there and just using the, uh, of course it's a 118 degree angle. So it's, you know, uh, let's see if we can, there's, there's some of the other chips. This nice little chip. There you go. You can see those holes are deburred nicely. There you go. You can see a little chamfer on there. Perfect. You can see our little chips down there. Of course, we'll clean this up. And uh, if you like this uh, content, uh, Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all watching. And that's our little, kind of intriguing. Most most of you have probably never seen that. It's got a, uh, it's got a spring in there. It's all precision. And so you just grab, this is your hand wheel. And you just grab that and that uh, allows you to move it, advance it through the workpiece. So uh, appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe.